Row Crosby is a Las Vegas area native, and he switched jersey numbers today, wearing number 58 to honor the 58 lives lost in the last. Is beside Herbert in the backfield. Quick pass immediately and completed out to Dylan Mitchell, and Mitchell's going to get the inside run game. There is the inside run game, and nothing doing in there for Ben Watt. Line, they're undersized. It's going to be a battle for them when they go up against a bigger offensive line. And at least it appears that the Ducks responding okay. His replacement, Kanai Benoit, runs through a Jalen Red coming in motion, but they'll give right. it inside and nothing doing it. He reads this, and the linemen don't have a chance to climb to that second level. You saw the center there, but he couldn't. Herbert got company in the backfield. And man high school football in Salmon River, Idaho, and now he's going to have a decision to make after this game. <laughs> More penalty yards than total yards of offense. Goes back to work. Herbert going to try to get the arm loose. Finds a little running room up the middle. Justin slips through one. It is about time. What did I tell you? <laughs> Herbert fires complete. First down for the Ducks. Dylan Mitchell making in the tempo. When Oregon's going, they've got their tempo going. And that, that the first couple plays. A lot of speedy, shifty guys at receiver. Certainly guys can run, including that guy wow. in the backfield. And a guy that's healthy that's not playing in a bowl game that tries to get his team fired up. I mean, I, if I were a senior, I'd probably say, hey, man, we love you. But and they wanted Cristobal, but they haven't exactly come out. And another football on the ground, and Boise's all over it if they can corral it. 28, he's a nickelback. He's 5'10 and 175 pounds. Defense is down with their tempo. Duck offense hasn't of running the ball that that can be really effective if you're patient back to times this season he's well on his way to that it would appear today Herbert reloads a little tough to clear and getting off of that corner to make that throw low snap oh. and he gets it to Ben Juan seven make sure everybody is lined up right already got six tackles today Kirk he is top five in the country and solo short of it. Brooks James in the backfield with Herbert Herbert going to throw Oregon if they're going to win today. They've got to be able to be patient and run the ball. And try to that. run it with Tony Brooks. Jam well, you're down 17. Why don't you fight for your guy here? Mario may be ready to sign a petition to get him to play better. Third down and eight for Cristobal's team. Herbert has service. Got the job. Woke up in a cold sweat the next morning. Said he couldn't leave football. And football games and that's why I'm anxious to see how his team responds to this adversity. Oregon fans hoping that the crystal ball era will turn out quite that well. It's quite too early to say. Into the middle and it's picked up. A lot of freshmen. Happel does a good job. Look at the eyes of the quarterback. He's looking to the middle trying to look off the Terrible, inexplicable tragedy. It was great to see Riley walking. That was a was this game means the world to him. It's a way of representing those who've lost their lives. And botched the handoff attempt on a high snap, but Herbert's going to make Tyrell Crosby, much like Royce Freeman, has NFL aspirations. Might not be playing, but here's him going to work. A guy who hasn't allowed a sack all year. Some linemen that he's seen or, or been around, period. I think that says a lot about uh, the respect he has for him. A lot of heat on Herbert. That looks like an interception, and it's going the other way. Looks like a pick six and kick six. There is some historical words of hope. They give it hasn't hasn't gone well here in the first half. Boise Oops. State has been really impressive. Native for Boise State had a spectacular first half. Her and go over top of the back who steps up. The back does a nice job of stepping up right there. Submarine in the middle of this and just could not have played any better. Herbert out to Tony Brooks James. James has the great speed. Back to the ground. Not Backfield, down, hit for a loss. Vander away from the hallelujah land. And now maybe seven or eight. Can move up front. Look at him close down from the backside. I mean, Benoit's thinking about place. Herbert throws it out. And there it is. Oregon is into Boise. The different looks. Herbert puts it right on Breland. Jacob Breland slipping tackles and fight.
Five receivers, and he did not. Receiver, and now they take it away. Herbert, yep. Mitchell, picks his way, first down, down to the 30-yard line, drive stays alive for the Ducks. It's now right here. Herbert going for the end zone. It is too far for Brent. Trying to go Brooks James with the speed stuff, and there is Brooks James. Struggling shoulder bump, but you throw the ball, everybody is there to see it, especially the officials. Herbert pressured tackle. Instead of size and power, now he goes around right the right tackle because of that quickness, and that's great to see a guy protect him and keep him clean. Eight of his nine tackles have been the solo variety, a category in which he ranks in the top five in the country, Darian Felix. I'm for Oregon. Boise State will shoot those gaps. So well, instead, of, yeah, instead of running, they decide to get away from that. Wasn't even involved. And neither one of those were called, by the way. Everybody had on the hit. And they started to throw. But they have get, gotten whipped up front. A tackle in the open field. Final seconds of the third quarter. Herbert firing and knocked down. Going downfield, you cheat up a little bit, and you're able to be in position. But the clock as well. Why sweep? Here's the freshman. A chance. Herbert looking. Firing to the outside. Mitchell has it. He shakes off one guy. Before he's Mitchell and Cedric Wilson from the same high school. White Station in Memphis, Tennessee. As Benoit gets inside the 35. I think it's part of their, their performance today. Mitchell has it again. Blocker out in front of him. McCormick. Herbert. Oh, and dropped. Had the problem. Earlier today, again, they'll roll Herbert. He's in trouble. He gets away. Can he get to the stick? He does, but barely. Cut. Wow, you're big. 6'6", 225. Herbert to the end zone again. Touchdown, Brendan Scoop. Two minutes, most importantly. You can see Boise State brought pressure. They brought the blitz. One of the few times we've seen the secondary. Had a great offensive day. Fewest yards since... Chip Kelly's first game, a loss on the blue to Boise State, but now Justin Herbert trying to rally his team. Tony Brooks James, a speedster, is into Boise territory, and he has a first down. He's got receivers going downfield. He's got four verticals way downfield. He comes off instead of getting his magic after the catch. Herbert slings it to the outside. It's caught by Mitchell. Herbert. Firing for Mitchell toward the end zone. There was some contact with Avery. They're showing pressure, and here come guys. They pick it up for a moment, but not long enough. Lyman, he gets right through them. See, we talk about him losing weight and getting quick. But we'll be in the offseason, how that work goes and how the Ducks respond, what types of changes might be made as a result of this. Herbert throwing it deep, and Mitchell makes the catch. It looked back like he was looking for somebody to come chase him, but he gets down inside. Pickup of 67. Herbert, back shoulder, and complete. I think if they had seen that one, they would have called it back, just to be candid about it. Charles in zone. Herbert steps away from pressure, throws to the back of the end zone. And this time he did go out of the back of the end zone. They haven't gone away. They, they keep competing. Herbert firing to the end zone. And this time... Odds are you aren't going to come back and win this game. But they, this team could have shut things down. And many of their fans have left. I mean, they could have emotionally shut.